Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to Practical Research 2. In this lesson, we will talk about the variable. The main objective of this lesson is for the learners to differentiate kinds of variables and their uses. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have questions or kind words to say, please don't hesitate to leave it on the comment section below. Thank you. Meaning of variable. Variable came from the word vary. It is a quantity susceptible of fluctuation or change in value or magnitude under different conditions. Variables are elements, objects, or factors that can change or may vary. Since quantitative methods requires measurement, the concepts within the study should be defined in a way that can be quantified. Some examples are age, gender, intelligence, ideas, achievements, confidence, etc. Types of variables Demographic variables are used to describe characteristics found within a population, group, or a sample of the entire population. Social workers are usually interested in these variables since by getting data on specific parameters within a population, they will be able to describe the population, predict issues or prevent future problems. Some examples are age, ethnicity, religious affiliation, gender, marital status, employment status, geographical location, educational attainment, income, etc. Independent variable it is known as the cause or the stimulus which affects the dependent variable. Observed to be the cause in a causal relationship. It can be also thought of as the manipulated input variable that will cause an effect to a specific dependent variable. There are two types of independent variable. The active and attribute independent variables. The active IV is an intervention or condition applied to the objects or participants of a study. For example, Interactive math video for grade 7 students, a new training program for employees or a new software for distance learning of senior high school students. These are active independent variables since they have direct effect to the dependent variables. Attribute IV on the other hand, are intrinsic characteristics of the participants or properties of the study objects that are suspected of causing a result. For example, if you are examining whether gender of the participants affect their scores in some skills, then gender is an attribute IV here, since it is a characteristic known to all participants. Dependent variable. This is the variable influenced by the independent variable. It usually called the outcome or resulting effect from the intervention or stimulation. It answers the question, what is observed when the intervention is applied? Just like the independent variable, this is also chosen as a variable in a study, depending on the phenomena or specific question the researcher is trying to observe or answer. For example, say, we have a research title, The Effect of CGP and Strand Selection Among Grade 10 Students. The independent variable will be CGP or Career Guidance Program. And the dependent variable is the strand selection of grade 10 students. Sample variables. There are times when some characteristics of the participants must be measured for some reason. However, the data measured do not act as an IV or ADV, specifically. These are called sample variables. For example, a researcher wants to study the effect of interactive video tutorials in academic performance of visual learners among junior high school. The researcher will have to identify the visual learners among the junior high school students first. This is only done for the research to move forward and is not exactly needed in the actual testing of the hypothesis or answering the research problem. It is just there to ensure that there are respondents to the study. Intervening variables. These are some traits or characteristics of the study objects or participants which create effects on the relationship of the independent and dependent variables. It is a variable that affects the effect of the independent variable to the dependent variable. For example, a researcher would like to observe the effect of a certain pesticide to the yield of corn. However, if the research is done on the field, then environment factors could affect the yield as well as the independent variable. In this case the pesticide. 
these environmental factors are a sample of intervening variables. Control variable. The example from intervening variable can be taken out of the picture if the researcher takes the study on to a controlled setup, such as the laboratory, or a specific area where all of the environmental factors are controlled to be of the same value to all of the study objects or participants. A control variable is a variable that is controlled by the researcher in which the effects can be neutralized by eliminating or removing the variable. For instance, a researcher wants to observe whether immune booster I or immune booster B decreases chances of specific disease among hens. The study could have three setups. The first group of hens will be fed their normal diet plus a dosage of immune booster I. The second set of hens will be fed their normal diet plus a dosage of immune booster B. The third group will just have their normal diet. By doing this in a controlled setup, the effect of the immune boosters, which acts as the independent variables in this case, on the hens' health, the dependent variable in this example, will be seen clearly. Let's look at some example studies to further understand variables. This illustration is an experimental study. The title is Effects of Breadcrumbs as Feeds to Tilapia. The independent variables in this case are the different percentage of feeds to be fed to the fish. The variable affected by this is the survival rate of tilapia. There are, however, some factors that can affect the effect of the independent variables, especially if this study is to be conducted on a natural setup, such as a fish farm. Oxygen salinity, temperature as well as the pH of the water may affect the survival rate nonetheless. Another sample of an experimental study. The title is Effect of Lantai Method on Seaweed Farming. The independent variables are, the traditional method of hanging the seaweeds, and the method we would like to observe the effect, the Lantai Method. These variables will affect the yield of seaweed. But, intervening variables such as the force of waves, and salinity, temperature and the pH of the water, may also affect the yield of seaweeds. The third example, on the other hand, is a sample of a descriptive study. The title is Perceived Effect of Academic Rank to Research Performance Among Senior High School Teachers in Private Schools, Matina District, Davao City. The independent variable we would like to investigate is the academic rank, college academic rank to be specific and how it supposedly affects, the dependent variable, which is the research performance in this case. However, some factors may affect the teacher's research performance as well. Factors such as age, gender, civil status, employment experience, socioeconomic status, values and even attitude may affect their research performance. Types of Quantitative Variables We have mentioned before that in quantitative research, it is required for the variables to be measurable or quantifiable. We are going to discuss the quantitative variables as categorical, ordinal or interval. Categorical variables are variables that are defined in terms of categories. The values therefore, aren't numerical but categorical names. This is also known as nominal variables. From the Latin root nom, which means name. Some examples are gender, color coding, employment status, educational attainment, or answer of yes or no. However, since quantitative research needs numbers for statistical treatment, these categories are given corresponding numerical values. For example, 1 for government employee, 2 for private employee, and 3 for self-employed. Another example would be, an answer of yes can be tallied as 1 and an answer of no can be tallied as two. This way, we can apply statistical treatment and describe the results based on the coding. There is a special type of categorical variable, this is the dichotomous variables. This example is of dichotomous type because it has exactly two options. Another example would be male or female, or true or false. Ordinal variables. Unlike categorical variables, these have logical, numerical sequence. By definition, ordinal refers to a position in a series. Variables which have numerically relevant categories are referred to as ordinal variables. 
for example, grade levels have a numerical sequence but it is also categorized. Another example would be the rating scales. The Likert scale, which is commonly seen in studies that utilizes questionnaires, is an example of ordinal variables. This specific example is a four-point level Likert scale. There is also a five-level Likert scale, which consists of strongly disagree, disagree, neither agree no disagree, agree, and strongly agree. Interval variables. It also has categories, have numerical sequence, but the concept of intervals between possible values is added. Interval refers to the distance between adjacent possible values. Some reference and textbooks refer to this as scale variable. One common example is the grade point system. As shown on the table, the grade point has intervals and has corresponding letter grade and remarks values. There is a special type of interval variables called the continuous variables. This variable contains a fraction point between any two intervals. Taking the grade point system as an example, but this time, let's look at the grade point final average that becomes the basis for graduating students. The table shows the grade point average and its corresponding Latin honors. If the student's final average is between 1.0 and 1.20, then the student is considered to be summa cum laude. If the average is between 1.21 and 1.45, then the honor is magna cum laude. Lastly, if the average is 1.46 to 1.75, then the student is a cum laude. Thank you for watching. In the next video lesson, we will discuss different research designs. See you there.